leftover steak? Yes. <laughs> he stopped right in the middle of eating that bone. Nothing but the best for boys. That's right. I'm glad I got you here. Um, same scene, you know, the penitentiary? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing some kind of debate. And they want you to come and judge it. Well, that's cool. You know, I mean, we went up there the last time. You remember we went to Sing Sing for the graduation? Mm -hmm. Cats in there getting master's degree. That was fly. Prison has a serious meaning to me because I was one of those people that was in the street breaking the law. And I could have ended up in there real easy. Thinking about that, this might be a good time to get Lil Ice out here. My son, Lil Ice, he's had his brushes with the law. He's been getting arrested. He thinks it's small stuff. But I know this will just escalate into something that will really change your life. It's cool. I'll be able to do something from the inmates and maybe scare straight my kid a little bit, you know? Let him get a dose of that, uh, reality. I'm loving your outfit today. It's like we kind of match a we little bit. Always yeah, the energy. energy. It's like, I'm your sidekick, I'm your... You're always my sidekick. Whenever I need help, soldier to rescue. That's so funny because I got an email from this guy who wants to draw you in his comic book, like, to make you some kind of character. Is he legit? He seems on the up and up. Yeah, his website seems pretty good. He seems like, you know, this is what he does. If I'm going to be in a comic book... You want to be the hero. I want to be the hero. You don't want to be the super victim. You want to be the superhero. No. <laughs> I want to represent power. You know, a girl that kicks ass. That's cool, Coco. Like, if I was a superhero, what would I be? Super shoe girl. <laughs> super super shoe, shoe girl. girl. Like, I could jump. Like, it'll make me jump high. Yes. And make it across a different country. That's a hot Maybe you'd be like... Infinity. Yes. Thunderbutt. <laughs> Thunderbutt. I love that. It has its own gravitational <laughs> pull. And you can land planes with... That is such a hot character, for real. Thunderbutt. And your specialty move is the butt clap. You clap your cheeks, kaboom, and they just knock down buildings. In the whole world. <laughs> you guys are having a lot of fun with this, aren't you? Yeah, that's hot. Thunderbutt. Thunderbutt. Ho! I'm very interested to see why you called me. I know the little details as far as you're a comic book man. What does that mean? It's, it's funny because I got my start as a comic book artist drawing for Spawn, issue number 30. Recently, I've created a new book called Dequito. I was thinking of you for a character uh, called Cleo. How did you even think of me? Like, you picked me out of, like, nowhere or what? <laughs> there was an episode of Law & Order that I saw you did. Venus? Venus, yes. yes. You know, anatomically speaking, the structure and bone structure of your face and the proportions work perfectly to what we would normally do in a comic book and draw. I feel like he's just picking me from seeing me on that show. And I want him to see me as, like, the badass that I am. You know, a strong character. So what do you need from me exactly? What's the whole process? Basically, I'll take you down to our art studio. I'll draw you and immortalize you as an original superhero in our comic book. Just like that, I'm a part of the book? That's it. You are now going to be a superhero. Oh, that's I got to go practice my technique. Uh -oh. He's my punching bag. <laughs> what up, dude? What's up, Dad? What's happening with you? Not much is trying to do a little grocery shopping. You messing up out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, I did go to jail, but it wasn't for, like, a serious reason. Like, I wasn't in the wrong. And if you got picked up, you got picked up, what happened? It's so messed up, because it was, like, the warrant for, like, a ticket that I had a year and a half ago. It's hard being a parent from far away, and it's really hard to give any sense of guidance or authority over a phone. I need you to come out here this weekend. Ooh, I don't know if I can make it this week, though. Taquan's still in, like, a big party at his house. Take a rain check on Taquan's party, all right? All right? All right, I got it. Coming up. You were totally born to play a superhero. Wow. You should come down to Comic-Con. Oh, my God, it's huge. You understand how serious it is. I love you to death, but some people might get hurt. Oh, we laid it out. Uh, wait. What up, Joe? What's up, baby? Look, I told him we freaked the cars out. You know it. You know it. What's up, baby? What wow, where do you want to start? <laughs> where do we start?
Trying to set kids straight is difficult. If you come at them hard, it can backfire on you. They can just block you out. They don't want to hear it. So I want to ease into this. I figure a good guy like Joe can help me get started on getting through to my son. Tell him about your car you got. I bought him a car. What is it? Daytona Charger. There you go. Not bad for your first car. Not bad for your first, first car. car. I love it. And yeah, okay, I got my speeding tickets and stuff. But now, if I'm going too slow, in the yellow car, the cops want to pull me over. I didn't have this when I was 19. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What, what did you have when you were 19? A Corvair. A, b <laughs> a car that the engine in the back. It was primer. It had Bondo on it. You appreciate it because it got you where you needed to go. Yeah. It's tough being a parent from across country. But now that I have my son in town, we have a lot of stuff I want to accomplish in a short amount of time. I hope this dude is ready. <laughs> This is Beyond Comic Studio. <laughs> yes, that's right. Are these actually costumes? Yeah, these are the actual suits that uh, we're going to have our stunt guys wear at the New York Comic Con. We only have some of the pages done, but your pages will be added to this here, and it's Kikito number one. Ooh, Kikito. Yeah, Kikito. The main thing with Cleo is she's like this immortal soul who's been around for centuries. She has the ability, and this will be your power, okay. you know, to seduce and control men like puppets and just make them do whatever she wants. Also, okay. like, very good martial arts and does spin kicks. Martial arts? Hearing my powers, I was, like, getting turned on. I was, like, putting it in the back of my head. I'm like, yes, I can do that. Okay. To me, like, a superhero is, like, pose. Can you keep that pose for a second? Okay. I'm just going to try to, like, sketch it out as fast as I can over here. Wow. I'm spinning. I'm spinning in the air. That's perfect. That's perfect. Hold the face. That's fantastic. This is, like, a very quick sketch when you get a chance to see. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> hold that pose. That's really great. Great. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's the pose. That's it. Yeah. Hold on to this one. Get that netting. That should be really good here. Hold on. Take a look at what we got so far. Whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, too? I'm doing an autograph signing for our new Bikito book at the New York Comic Con. You should come down. It'll be so much fun. That is dope. I love that idea. Oh, my God. I don't know much about Comic Con, but I love book signings, so this should be a blast. Oh, look at that one. Oh. The whole family. Come this way, Ice. Hey, what's going Big on? Big family. Pleasure to meet you. Marco Andretti is a young Indy car racer, and he's the grandson of Mario Andretti. His father is Michael Andretti. It's a legacy of race car drivers. He's just a cool friend, you know? He's oh, here comes the OG. Super OG. Super OG. Who do we have here? How you doing, Mario? Pleasure. Yeah, you? This is my son, Lil Ice. Hi, Hi Lil Ice. Thank you. Welcome to my Hi. noisy neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> You still take it around at 230? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. Wow. It's the generations. When I first time I came, that was I was the most impressed by that right there. How did you start? Like, I, I mean, I know I know your, your your grandfather and your dad, of course, did it, but I started at nine, mm -hmm. which is about the same as dad, right? Um, but yeah, just little go karts and then shifter karts. Uh, one year he won championship in three different classes. In a way, Marco and Lil Ice have a lot in common. They both come from a family that's been successful. I admire Marco Andretti for not resting on his family's laurels. He knows these are shoes he has to fill, and he has to do it on the track. So I want Lil Ice to know that, yeah, you got shoes to fill, but you got to fill them your own way. We were in a refugee camp after the war. Wow. Mm. I think, actually, my desire to be a racer started there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, just as a young teenager. I mean, this is something I wanted to pursue this at any cost. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't want to take time to learn a skill set. They want to magically do it. You need the passion mm -hmm. and the desire, you know, to be able to excel because it takes so much work, so much dedication. Nothing worthwhile will come to you without a sacrifice. The same, man. I keep drinking this wine. After this, we're gonna do a little break dance. <laughs> like, oh, wait till, you, wait till the jokes come in. Oh, no, 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 I'm not telling those. He's jokes. a lightweight for sure. I see him already. But. <laughs> Let's keep these medals. Yeah. This is the dream. And the dream basically comes from busting your ass. And, you know, I think now at 21, it's time for you to step off 
in your own direction. And that's why I bring you around these cats. What could you get any game off of him? You don't speed on the streets, keep on the track. <laughs> that's one. Ice is like me. He can turn anything into a joke. So I'm not quite sure he's getting the message that's intended over here at the Andretti house, you know? So now it's time for me to show him what happens if he takes a different route. I'm taking him to Sing Sing. Coming up, I got 15 on life, kidnapping, armed robbery, attempt murder. How old were you? I came in when I was 20 years old. Uh, I just turned 36. You're in. Did any of this sink in? Doing? I'm organizing my lip glosses, making sure I have every color pink there is possible. <laughs> You're crazy. Hey, don't slaughter my gloss. Max. So, a comic guy, mm -hmm. we went over to his studio. Oh, that's cool. That's right. right. That's way right. way out there. And then he says, I want to bring you to Comic-Con with me. Okay. Right? And I want to dress you up as Cleo. That's your character? That's my character. So you're going to go to Comic-Con in costume. Exactly. That's good. I always wanted to be a superhero. Yes. I have always wanted to be a superhero. Coco right. is one of a kind, so you just can't be able to go to the costume store and get a one of a kind Coco. piece. Right. You can't do that. I'll keep true to his design, but they, they, I may have to do alterations. I'm so happy that Sheldon is making my costume. He is so professional. With regard to this wonderful loin claw that you see coming down there, I'm looking at what? this fabric, this, this beautiful... Uh, that? Yes. What am I going to be wearing underneath there? I think you're going to be wearing, most likely you'll be wearing like a golden song. Really? It's really important that this costume shows more than just a sexy body. It's got to show power. How about booty shorts? I don't sure. want them all focusing on the booty, you know, I want to be focusing no, on my... actually, your booty will be somewhat covered by the, by the back. The loin, the loin cloth. Cloth. So, really, I have a lot of work and very little time. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, yes. <laughs> the main reason I wanted to bring Ice out here is because I knew I was going to Sing Sing. You could talk about prison, but you have to go there to really understand the magnitude of the situation. There's something about seeing people caged that you'll never forget. How you doing, boss? It's a pleasure. How you doing? Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to see this debate. Thank you very much. Now, tonight's debate topic is the Affordable Care Act, health care reform. Every year, Sing Sing sponsors debates by the inmates. It gives the inmates a chance to talk. And hopefully, this may be the wake-up call that Little Lice needs. I mean, this might be personal. Yes. Um, what you in for and how much time? Or just I got 15 of life, kidnapping, armed robbery, attempt murder. Uh, I've been in prison now almost 16 years. Um, how old were you? I came in when I was 20 years old. Uh, I just turned 36. You're right. I have been in prison 18 years. I came to jail when I was 24. Um, I'm convicted of killing a young black male. I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. Instead of doing the right things, going to school, I wanted to hang out with my friends. My friends weren't the right crowd to be hanging with. The world is bigger than just my block, and that's something I didn't realize. Going to Sing Sing was the perfect experience for ICE to have right now. I hope that the stories that these inmates told him register with them. We trying to keep him out, but I told him I don't have to collect calls, man. So don't go to jail, man. <laughs> So 
here's the official printed copy of the keto number one that you are in. Take a peek. So I'm feeling my character. Comic Con was a huge success. Everybody loved Cleo. I think I'm a comic book fan now. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. Thank you, it was just Thank you for asking me. So he could feel what a long, hard day at work is like, and he understands nothing comes easy. So what's next? And this is the last scene of the episode, and then Monday they start right on another episode. And then last night we had got it all done and just made it in time to make it up to the sing sing. What was our overall experience like going into that penitentiary? I really hope Little Lice learned something from the visit to Sing Sing. If he didn't. I really don't know what to do. Did any of this sink in? What was that overall experience like going into that penitentiary? Did any of this sink in? Seeing somebody who is facing 25 to life that you would expect have no hope. Right. Still be so positive. What always catches me is the age. When you see the cat, it's like, you know, I'm 35, you know what I'm saying, and I've been in here 19 years. That's what really, like, hit me at heart because I'm talking to the dude, and he's like, how old are you? And I was like, 20, and he's like, yeah, I came in here 19, and I've been here for 17 years. <laughs> and this dude, grown, he's 37. I'm looking at this, you know what I mean? I'm looking at this grown-ass man. I'm like, that's it. You just throw your whole life away. Literally. What I'm just saying. I think this is a very powerful trip for us to come out here and see a family as powerful as the Andretti family and then see what happens when you make the mistakes all the way to Sing Sing. I wasn't always around when Ice was growing up as a father. And now I just want to make sure that I do everything I can to keep him on the correct road. I've done everything I can to steer you away from messing with the law. I'm going back. I ain't speeding. I'm going to drive 10 miles under the limit. I ain't jaywalking. I ain't even picking my nose in front of a cop. I don't, want to, I, don't, I don't want him to have no reason at all. I'm extremely proud of my son. Something tells me he's on the right road. I really love Ice to Death. My thing is that there's no directions to parenting. There's really none. And I think the nature of it being a parent is you kind of want to spoil your kid. You want to give them everything. But then you got to also give them the tools to survive. And the biggest thing you can do is say you have to learn how to survive on your own. I'll be here for you, but what if I'm not here? The best advice I can give you is you obtain whatever knowledge you need to fulfill your dream, what you want to do, and then apply it. And apply it like you're starving. comic this is really good stuff you actually look like this picture i always cool. said i want those legs your thighs aren't far from that it's Coco like as cleo cleopatra honey well they always put white women as cleopatra anyway but i like it well congratulations this is a big victory for you we had a good week i think little ice had fun out here too so how did it go i think the trip to sing sing mm -hmm. hopefully it'll sink in well like you said you give them wings yeah they gotta learn how to fly Absolutely. Ice is becoming an adult right now. And I think this is a time, a very important time for a son and a father to really be on the same page. But all in all, it's always good to get a little ice out here, have a little family time, especially this time you got a little one-on-one -on -one time with me, man. What, what, the, what are you looking at? I'm trying to use my special powers. Okay. Time for me to use my special powers. Shield. So your power reflected back on you. You use your calluses? My power is to take whatever power you have and use back on you. They call me the reflect though. You don't want to mess with me though, right? I ain't scared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These are some fine steel legs right here. Now you want to talk crap? I'm about to activate my suit.
superpowers on the next episode of Ice Loves Coco. This is Club Spartacus. This is what we've been waiting for. Are you joking? I have some really, really exciting news. Your girl got offered to headline in Vegas. You are going to say yes, aren't you? I don't want to leave Ice for six months. I've got a happy little home. I don't know if I want change. I don't want to be the reason you don't follow your dream.